everyone, Moisa here, back with another video, and this video is 30 days of exercising, and we're going to talk about the results, um, either through how much weight I've lost, inches, things like that, as well as potentially not losing any weight, which, spoiler, I didn't actually lose any weight by exercising for 30 days straight. I tried doing exercises for about two to three hours a week primarily focusing on getting to three hours a week and i didn't eat at a calorie deficit or anything just because i normally don't eat that much but um maybe that's attributed to why i didn't lose any weight but i did have progress photos throughout the journey so let's just get into those real quick may 26th May 31st, June 8th, June 16th, June 23rd, June 29th, July 1st, July 5th, July 11th. Some of these images are obviously before the 30 day challenge, but I like that you could see a little bit of what I looked like before when I was going to the gym. Um, just if you think there's a comparison. And looking at these images, I personally don't think I look much different. It only has been 30 days and I did also not change the way I eat. Um, but it has helped me be more active because I notice when I'm in Florida, I tend to not be as active as I am when I am in Boston, when I am in New York and I have the, the capability and also I don't have a car. Um, and yeah, so that was a pretty interesting comparison to see so far pop in the gym also gym and nails don't go together not with it a typical day at the gym for me would um normally it would consist of me going to the treadmill i typically do 15 to 20 minutes on that with a five minute cool down then i would either go to do some abdominal as you're seeing right now or i would go to the bikes um, I find the bikes to be my more relaxing exercise just because for me it's not as hard. Um, I don't sweat as much unless I'm really pushing myself on that one so it's my cool down machine. And um, for my reps I use the abdominal machines as you're going to see throughout the video. I also um, do some pull downs because my um, most worrisome area for me is with my stomach and my arms and those are the ones I tend to focus on. My legs are pretty strong even though they're pretty thick um, but I personally just don't mind the appearance of my legs uh, so I would obviously do um, some leg presses you're gonna see those. I also do the inner thigh and outer thigh um, hip abductors and sometimes I do the ro rotator the rotary machine for my abdominal um, kind of for that slimming physique and at times I also use the elliptical when I use the elliptical I try to do about 10 minutes with a five minute cool down because that is a harder machine for me and when I do the bike I do 15 minutes with a five minute cool down and with all of the other machines throughout the gym I try to do about five reps of 12 to 15 and i try to keep my weights for my arms at around 55 to 60. i did push to 65 and it made it difficult for me one of the days so one one of the gym days i ended up going for about 20 minutes less because i did like push it too hard and i felt that in the following few days and i had to ice it for a few days so don't recommend and um, other than that, for my legs, my legs are pretty strong. I tend to do about 95 to 130 depending on the machine. For the inner thigh, outer thigh, I typically do around 100. And for like presses and things like that, I typically do around 130. Weight for me has always been a very complicated thing. I have never been 
below a size 12 um, ever since I've been in the States. In Haiti, I was pretty thin. Um, I feel like because of, it's obviously a very different lifestyle than from the US. And since being in the US, I have found it that I gain weight very easily. If I eat, if I don't eat, if I diet, if I don't diet, if I exercise or I don't exercise, my weight fluctuates very quickly, um, which is a big, um, kind of fear for me. I'm very self-conscious. I try to present myself in the most confident light, but when I look in the mirror, I still feel like there's so much improvement to make. And I look around the room at a whole bunch of other people around my weight. And I always think, why can't I be a more typical weight? Um, right now you guys are looking at footage of me exercising at home. I noticed when I exercise at home, I would rotate between a few YouTubers. I can actually name some for you right now if you're interested. I usually try to do some vlog a lotties. I love the fitness Marshall. I try to do Girl with Joe a lot, and I also do Emmy Wong. I noticed that Girl with Joe, I love doing her exercises, but they don't help me sweat as much. But when I do Emmy Wong, I sweat a lot. Same with the fitness Marshall. I don't actually, I don't sweat a lot with his exercises, but I like doing them. So I try to keep them in my routine just because I, it doesn't matter if I'm sweating a lot as long as I'm getting in a good workout. I think the only meal change that I really made throughout these 30 days is actually eating breakfast. I'm someone who really doesn't eat breakfast. I eat lunch and a very late dinner. I still eat a really late dinner just because it's very difficult for me to get the food I, I need when I'm in Florida. I'm less self-sufficient here than I am when I am in Boston because in Florida I am obviously at home with my parents I'm on summer break from college and I noticed that here I can't really cook what I really want to cook as much it's very hard to eat clean um, and stock the fridge in my way because the fridge is stocked for an entire family and for me I find it very difficult to change um, my eating habits here versus while I'm in Boston, because I feel like when I'm in Boston or New York, I'm a significantly more active and healthy person. And that might just be, be the lifestyle of those cities. Um, but I noticed that as well about myself. And it is something I think I could work on, um, like in Boston, when I went to undergrad there, and I'm going to um, grad school in New York. But in undergrad in Boston, I walk to class every day, which is a 15 minute walk from my dorm. And it'll be around the same amount of walking at my grad school. So that'd be nice to get back to at least 15 minutes of walking time to and from, um, would get like 30 minutes a day of walking. Um, I also have to wake up for 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. and I have to eat breakfast. Whereas here, I've been forcing myself to eat breakfast, but I sleep in later, meaning I wake up around 11.30 and that leads to a very late breakfast. Um, but I've been trying to eat primarily eggs for breakfast. I've been baking my eggs every morning instead of, oops, instead of frying them. And I've been using avocado oil instead of canola oil, the whole thing. So I guess in terms of that, I have changed one thing about my eating habits, which is um, having breakfast and for my dinner and my lunch, I guess having smaller portions. I am a snacker, so I got myself some snacks that are easier to grab and less um, kind of heavy. So those are things I've changed, but again, none of these led to weight loss in terms of pounds. I think in terms of measurements though, because I measure myself sporadically, I have noticed that my waist has gone down about two inches and then around my thighs just below my butt I guess you could say um, I've lost about an inch there and then around my bust my bust is the same um, so yeah so I think like even though I didn't lose weight in terms of pounds I, there is progress being made I think for me it's just hard because um, I feel like we always look at ourselves through the use of a scale and when the scale is not doing anything I feel like am I really accomplishing something so for me I guess maybe that's why I liked having the ability to measure myself because it showed me 
the number of the scale doesn't always represent um, what your body is going through. And yeah, so I, now that we're rounding out the end of the video, um, these are just my last few days of exercise on here. And then I'm going to show up all, all of the honest truth about my exercising. This is not a vibe. Here is the honest truth of all of my exercises. Here's every exercise I did. Here's the amount of steps that I took every day. And here's um, my weekly summaries. So this is what it looks like. Obviously my steps are so low here. Um, as you can see, my goal is at 8,500 because that's my average that I do in New York slash Boston. So I think maybe next challenge we do is trying to see if i can reach my step goals for a whole month but um remember that i also don't wear like any like step tracking bands because i don't want to always be having a goal of steps so they there are probably some discrepancies in terms of my steps um but i still want to show them as well and all of my exercises <laughs> i know it's a lot but I think it's important to see. I'm sorry if um, seeing calories um, is triggering for anyone. I just have my like my thing set up in a way that it just does that naturally. And I don't know how to change that. But if you guys like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.